Ah, uh, yes. Welcome on into another edition of Smart Chat. Hope all is well. Thank you for watching, liking, subscribing to my channel. If you haven't done so, please do so right now. Thank you for taking the time to view this video. And um, I just wanted to give you my picks. That's right. All four of them from this week's divisional playoffs. And the games run today, Saturday and Sunday. Last week I was three and one. Would have been four and zero oh if it wasn't for the implosion by the Bengals in literally the last seconds of the game. So three and one last week. Thirty-five and twenty overall. So uh, I've had a good year as far as making picks, and uh, just want to be short and brief this week. And give you my picks. And these picks are for your enjoyment purposes only. Don't bet the house. Don't bet the mortgage. The college tuition. Don't bet the car. These picks are just simply made as straight out wins. Nothing to do um, with any point spread whatsoever. Kansas City versus the pa uh, the Patriots. The Cheatriots. Uh, I gotta say, as much as I hate it, I like the Pats. The reason is, is that Brady and Belichick, they're 8-1 at home. But I don't expect this to be a blowout like it has been, you know, prior. The Patriots are not just the same type of team that they were once before with, you know, injuries on, you know, to Edelman, Gronk status up in the air. But I think they will pull it out. I think it will be like a 27-23 type of game. Uh, some type of a play where Brady comes back uh, at the final drive of the game, putting them uh, ahead for the go-ahead win. Now, don't get me wrong. I, I respect what the Chiefs have done. I just don't know, honestly, how they have done it. Uh, you know, again, Gronk, Edelman banged up. You don't know the status about Macklin. Jamal Charles is out. I just don't see how Kansas City has been able to go on this run, especially with Macklin being out. Um, you know, the only reason I think this game will be close is because of the injury on the Patriots' side. So give me the Patriots over Kansas City. Next game, you have the Packers at the Cardinals. Cardinals, um, you know, Packers, I think the Cardinals will win. Packers, they will play well. They played well last week. Uh, but I think that Bruce Arian will have this team ready to go. Cardinals, I think, right now are, if not, one of the best balanced teams in the NFL. Offense, defense, special teams, 30-20 to 20, uh, Cardinals. Next game, Hawks versus the Panthers. The Panthers have had one loss all year. They've been the best team on paper, you know, as far as record-wise all year. But, but, I think the Washington... Seahawks defense uh, will keep this game close. Just don't know if Panthers will be able to start this game out uh, out the right way, being that they've been off, some layoff. I see the Seahawks just uh, winning this. It's a really close, hard game to uh, tell. Next game, you have the Broncos versus the Steelers. Antonio Brown, uh, Ant Antonio Brown is out. Roethlisberger, he may be out. We don't know as of yet, but he's banged up. Broncos, they're good on defense, especially against the pass. Brown out. Um, Bell has been out for a majority of the year. Roethlisberger, not 100%. I just don't see this. Uh, working out uh, for the Steelers. Unfortunately, what happened last week for uh, what the Bengals player did there, Pac-Man Joes and Bu Buford, and what they've done, perfect, rather, what he did is they, um, in essence, ruined the Bengals and they ruined the Steelers. So uh, give me the Broncos against the Steelers. So my four picks, Broncos, Seahawks, Cardinals, Packers. Happy Football Sunday, guys. Hope all is well.